Okay, so today we're going to make a scatter plot um, using Tableau. So the first thing we're going to the first thing we're going to do um, is load in our file. So we're going to click on Excel because that's where my file is. You're going to load in your spreadsheet. And once it loads, you'll see that uh, Tableau will list out um, all the variables that you have in your spreadsheet and give you a preview um, of what the data look like. So now that we have an idea of what these data look like, we're going to click here to go to our spreadsheet. And we are going to create z-scores um, for the variables that we're going to be looking at. So in order to do that, we're going to click on Analysis, Create Calculated Field. Um, you're going to label your variable, whatever you want to label it. Um, so the first one I'll be doing is for the predictor variable, which is POS. So I'm going to label it z-score, POS. And then you paste the formula um, to create that z-score. So if we take a closer look at the formula, you can see that we're pulling from the average score um, as well as the standard deviation to get our um, to get our z-score. Now there are a number of different formulas you, you could use. I went with this one um, because when I didn't define what my other variable was, um, Tableau was not cooperating. So when I used this one, I was able to actually calculate my z-score and uh, create a scatter plot based off of it. So we hit OK. And then we do the same thing to create our z-score for our outcome variable. So create calculated field, um, label it, and then pull your syntax. It's going to be the same syntax, um, but you're going to switch the variable names. And then you hit OK. So now that we have our variables created over here, we now need to drag and drop them into this area where we're actually defining um, which variables we want to use for our scatter plot. So we're going to put our predictor up here in columns, and we're going to put our outcome variable here in rows. The next thing we need to do, and I haven't figured out how to get Tableau to do this by default, is we need to change um, how it's defining our variables. So as opposed to creating a measure, we want it to just treat these as dimensions. And you can see it now looks way more like a scatter plot. Um, so once we've done that, uh, the next thing we're going to do is add a trend line. So we click over here on Analytics, um, drag trend line over here, and we're going to drag it to specifically the type of trend line we want. So we want a linear trend line here, so we drop it under linear. Next, we're going to see what our data look like um, by gender. So we're going to come back over to Data. Um, find our gender variable, which is going to be in dimensions, and then we're going to drop it under color. So as you can see, um, we have two trend lines now because we have, we're looking at our data um, by gender, so by male and female, and you can also see that the dots themselves are um, coordinated by um, by gender. So um, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is change the size of these circles based on the tenure within the organization. So 
Uh, the longer they've been there, the bigger the circle the circle will be. So we're going to take our tenure variable and we're going to drop it under size. And just like before, we need to come over here and change it to dimension as opposed to sum. And so you can see that this circle is clearly bigger than this circle. So this person's only been here for one year, while this person who has a much bigger circle has been there for 38 years. Now the next thing we're going to do with our scatter plot is we're going to divide it up by ethnicity. So we're going to take our ethnicity variable and drag it over here within columns. So we've now split up um, our scatter plot into three different columns. We're still looking at um, the level of organizational support by emotional exhaustion. Um, and we're still comparing it by gender, and we can also see tenure. We've also split it out by ethnicity. So we have a column for Asians, for blacks, and for whites here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, add in an office variable. So looking at the breakdown by which office location they're in. And we're going to vary that by shape. So we're going to take office and drop it under shape. And now you can see that uh, some of our circles have now turned into X's, squares. Um, we have a square that's got a little cross inside of it. And these are also divided up um, or representative of size. So this X um, is much bigger than this X, um, denoting that this person has been with the organization at that office longer than this person has. So now that we have kind of played around um, with our actual variables, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to change what this little call out um, looks like. So when we hover over each of our points, um, Tableau will give us some information about that particular data point. So what we're going to do is we're going to customize it so that um, it reads a little bit more easily. Um, so the information that we want in there, we have gender, we have the office that they're in, we have their tenure. We also want to look at their raw scores, so not their Z scores, for emotional exhaustion and perceived organizational support. So we're going to drop those variables under tooltip. And we're going to fix these so that they say attribute. And then we can double click on tooltip and it'll give us um, this box right here that will allow us to customize um, those callouts. So we can say um, a is a let's change this this person is a and we'll put in gender ethnicity employee who has worked in the, and we'll put the office location here, or we'll put in tenure, years, and 
has a POS score of, come here and pull this variable. And an EE score of this. And then we delete all of these extra things that we don't want to show up. So these right here are all pulling the data from these specific variables, and everything not within these brackets um, will be the actual text that um, we can write out to, to make the tooltip um, read a little bit more easily. And if we hit preview, we can get an idea of what our tooltip is going to say. And then we hit OK. And now when we hover over um, each of our data points, we can see exactly or get a better understanding of who this person is. And that is how we build a scatter plot in Tableau.